good morning students in the previous class we completed the chapter 9 that is simple machines and today we will be going to do the exercise questions all of you take your textbooks and notebooks and take page number 123 in your textbook in the exercise questions the first question is to tick the correct option and there are six questions provided what you have to do is pause the video answer them and come back hope you have answered the questions Let's discuss the answers now. The first question, a simple machine that consists of a fulcrum is, the options are a lever, a wedge, an inclined plane, a pulley. The answer is a lever. A simple machine that consists of a fulcrum is a lever. The second question, a machine made up of two types of simple machines is called, the options are wheel and axle, pulley, wedge and complex machine. The answer is complex machine. A machine made of two or more simple machines is called a complex machine. The third question, an axe is a, options are wedge, wheel and axle, pulley and lever. The answer is wedge. An axe is a wedge. The fourth question, a simple machine Consisting of a slanting flat slope that helps in the movement of heavy objects is the options are a lever, a wedge, an inclined plane, a screw. The answer is an inclined plane. A simple machine consisting of a slanting flat slope that helps in the movement of heavy objects is an inclined plane. The fifth question a simple machine that can be used. To fix two pieces of wood together is, the options are a screw, a pulley, a wheel and axle and inclined plane. The answer is a screw. A simple machine that can be used to fix two pieces of wood together is a screw. The last and final question, which of these is not a complex machine? The options are bicycle, washing machine, car and nail clippers. The answer is nail clippers. Out of the given options, nail clipper is not a complex machine while the others bicycle, washing machine and car are examples for complex machine. The next question is to fill in the blanks. There are total 6 questions given. As you have done earlier, you have to post the video, answer the fill in the blanks questions and come back. Now let's discuss the answers. The first question. Dash is done when force causes an object to move. The answer is work. Work is done when force causes an object to move. The second question. A lever can be moved about a fixed point called the dash. The answer is fulcrum. A lever can be moved about a fixed point called the fulcrum. Third question. In a first class lever, the dash is in between the load and effort. The answer is fulcrum. In a first class lever, the fulcrum is in between the load and effort. The fourth question, a dash is an example of second class lever. The answer is nutcracker. You can also choose the options lemon squeezer and wheelbarrow as the examples for the second class lever. The fifth question, a dash is a simple machine used to hoist a flag. The answer is pulley. A pulley is a simple machine used to hoist a flag. The sixth question, a slide is an example of a dash plane. The answer is inclined plane. A slide is an example for an inclined plane. That was all about the fill in the blanks questions. In the next set of questions, several statements are given and you have to state whether the given statements are true or false. The first statement is, when you try to push a wall, you do work, even if it doesn't move. The answer is false because for work to be done there should be displacement. The next statement, a second class lever has the load between the fulcrum and effort. The answer is true. In a second class lever, the load lies between the fulcrum and effort. The next question, that is the third one, it is easier to climb a steep slope rather than a gradual one. The answer is false because it is always easier to climb a gradual one than a steep one. 
the fourth statement a washing machine is a simple machine the answer is false because washing machine is a complex machine the fifth statement the wheel and axle form a simple machine the answer is true the wheel and axle is a type of simple machine that was all about the true and false questions the next set of questions is to answer the questions in one sentence there are four questions given you have to write the questions and answers in your notebook the first question is what is a simple machine the answer is a simple machine is a device that makes our work easier the second question list any three different simple machines the answers are inclined plane wheel and axle and lever now let's move into the third question the question is why is an inclined plane called a simple machine the answer is an inclined plane makes our work of taking a heavy object from a lower level to a higher level and vice versa easier with lesser effort that's why an inclined plane is called a simple machine the fourth question name any two tools which are wedges the answer is a knife and an axe are examples for wedge that was all about answering the questions in one sentence now let's move into the next set of questions that is to answer the questions in two or three sentences the first question is to draw and describe a wheel and axle the answer is a piece of rod attached to the center of a wheel is called an axle the wheel and axle move together and they form a simple machine they are used to move heavy objects this is the description for wheel and axle and the diagram is given you have to draw the picture of wheel and axle in your notebook now let's move into the next question that is to differentiate between a first class and third class lever the answer is in a first class lever the fulcrum is between the effort and lock and the examples include scissors and seesaw in a third class lever the effort lies in between the fulcrum and lock and the examples include tongs and tweezers that was all about answering the questions in two or three sentences now let's move into higher order thinking skills there are two sets of questions are given in the first set of question a picture is given and you have to answer four questions in the picture you can see a gorilla sitting on a seesaw the first set of question is what type of machine is the gorilla sitting on you can see that the gorilla is sitting on a seesaw and we know that seesaw is an example for a simple machine so the answer is the gorilla is sitting on a simple machine the next question is mark the region where force should be applied to raise the load the load mentioned here is the gorilla and the answer is the other end of the seesaw it means in order to lift the gorilla that is the load we have to apply force to other end of the seesaw let's move into the next question the question is when the fulcrum is placed at position a 10 adults are needed to move the gorilla how many adults will be able to move the gorilla if the fulcrum is at position b the answer is less than 10 it is because less force is needed when the fulcrum is closer to the load that is if we move the fulcrum closer to the load that is gorilla we have to apply less force so less men are required in order to lift the gorilla hope it is clear to you the next question is what type of lever is it that is what type of lever is a seesaw the answer is first class lever a seesaw is an example for a first class lever that was all about the first question now let's move into the next set of question that is in the given two illustrations a car is shown being pushed to a height of 5 feet in both cases study the illustrations and answer the question so in this question there are two images shown as image a and image b based on these two images you have to answer three more questions the first question is which is a steeper slope that is based on the two images which image do you think is a steeper slope the answer is option a out of the two images option a appears to be a steeper slope the second question name the simple machine being used to shift the cars into the truck the answer is inclined plane we know that inclined plane is a gradual sloping surface 
that is used to shift heavy objects from a lower surface to higher surface. Here you can see that the inclined plane is used to shift the car from a lower level to a higher level that is from the ground to the truck. The third question, on which slope do you think less effort is required to shift the car and you have to answer why? The answer is option B because it is more inclined. When the steepness of the inclined plane reduces, the effort that we have to put into to lift the heavy object also decreases. So the option is B. So that was all about the exercise questions of chapter 9, simple machines. You have to write down all these questions and answers in your notebook and you have to study very well. I hope the chapter and the exercise questions was clear to you. Thank you.